If she's smelling different things in the spirit, like smoke and alcohol, does she need to go back at courts of heaven for addiction in her bloodline? No smoke or alcohol around. It could be one of two things. Um, either you're smelling it spiritually, where you need to go back into the courts of heaven to repent for addictions on your bloodline. Or, okay, because addictions are rooted in generational curses. Any addiction is rooted in generational curses. And you should go into your into the courts of heaven with my teaching at animerstrawhand.com. Repent for all the sins of your generational bloodline and get the blood of Jesus Christ on it to break those curses. The other reason you could be smelling it, uh, cigarette smoke, alcohol, or any kind of smell like that, means it's time for you to detox your body. Back when I was first in NASCAR racing, it was early 1990s, okay? And Winston Cigarettes was the big sponsor back then, okay? And they used to hand out cigarettes free to everybody, okay? So it was the cool thing for everybody to smoke cigarettes in the garage area. Everybody, everybody was smoking cigarettes. So I smoked cigarettes just for mainly a short period of time, maybe like three years. That's it. And then I married my husband, Mike, uh, and I, I quit smoking. Just, just quit. I was done. As, you know, as soon as I got married and I wanted to have a baby, I quit smoking. So let's fast forward up into 2022. Okay, so I quit smoking in the year, like 1999. Okay, I quit smoking in the year 1999 completely. All right, I wasn't a heavy smoker. I was more of like a casual hangout type smoker. Okay. So I hadn't smoked a cigarette since probably the year 2000. My husband doesn't smoke. He's not at all, right? My mother was not a smoker. Fast forward to 2020, 2022, when the Lord tells me to start detoxing my liver, detoxing my body. So I start doing the detox. I start to feel better. And the Holy Spirit le leads me to do a foot iconic ionic foot bath, right? That has a negative ionic charge that will pull toxins out of your body and pull toxins out of your liver. So I put my feet in it for the first time. I'm in there for like 30 minutes and I start smelling something and it smells like cigarettes. And I said to Mike, I'm like, were you anywhere today where cigarettes is your cigarette smoke on your clothes? I mean, it smelled like cigarettes and the, the water was turning a tobacco color. And I, I opened up the paperwork that came with the Onyx machine. It said, this color brown is you are detoxing tobacco. You're detoxing cigarettes and tobacco that has been stuck and stored in your liver. What? 20 years? 20 years? Yes. Think about all the stuff that is stuck in your liver from years and years and years. Heavy metals, pharmaceuticals, tobacco, even secondhand smoke. Because your liver works like an oil filter. And it does its best to cleanse your blood. And if, if your liver's never cleaned, yes, even in 20 years, that stuff is going to stay in it. So when you change your oil and you've got clean oil in your body, oh, I'm cleansing, I'm detoxing, I'm eating all the right foods, I'm taking the right supplements, but your oil filter's still dirty. That stuff's just going to recycle back into your cells. So I am a big believer on getting your liver detox, your liver cleanse, because tobacco smoke, even if you were, even if you worked in a place where you were, okay? Now, I started smelling it through my body porously, right? I was not smelling it coming out of my liver, but even after that, I was taking a shower. I was smelling it porously. In other words, if you are on any type of fast or any type of detox, and we're on the 21-day fast and detox now, even if you don't do the foot bath, 
your body's going to start automatically starting to cleanse the liver out. And you might start to smell these toxins. They got to come out somewhere. They got to come out through your urine. They got to come out through your sweat. They got to come out through your spit. It's got to be expelled somewhere. So it could be you are on a fast or a detox or your liver is detoxing and there could be stuff that was stuck in there from 20 years ago. And yes, alcohol too. Alcohol, pharmaceuticals, that's, that could be being detoxed out. Ah, she says she quit smoking a few years ago when we did the January fast. The first January I fasted was in 2022, I think. Wait, 2021? I don't remember when I did this together with y'all. Either 2021 or 2022. Probably 2021. She got the fe- detox foot bath, but taking Moline to help detox. Thank you. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Now, Mo- that Moline is not on my list. <laughs> so that isn't anything I suggest. You want to help the detox and you want to speed it up, girl? Milk thistle. Milk thistle. The, all that junk stored up tobacco from years and years and years in your cells, in your skin, in your liver. You want to accelerate it out. The detox foot bath is good, but take the milk thistle. It works way better. And while you're detoxing, you, know, you can take up to 500 milligrams of it. And lots of water. I have all that information on my site, the detox site. 